We begin tonight with a heartbreaking story out of St. Mary's, Idaho. Just a few days ago, the town was devastated when a local teen was killed in a fire. While deep in grief, the family has asked Krem2 to share the story of 14 year old Peyton Hutchison. The teen's mom and surrounding family wanted to share messages about her life and to say thank you to the community that has helped support them in this time of great sadness. Krem 2's Laura Papetti has the story of how you can help honor the legacy of Peyton. In a small community like this, everybody's hurting. Surrounded by trees and nudged against the St. Joe River, the town of St. Mary's seems so protected. It's a place where neighbors become family and where a devastating loss is felt by everyone. You see how much this beautiful child's life mattered to so many people. The flowers are laying in honor of 14-year-old Peyton Hutchison. The high school freshman was home on Sunday night, Mother's Day, when an electrical cord caught fire. The family says Peyton's mom ran to the store for just a few minutes and came back to this. Her daughter trapped inside a fire that moved swiftly through their home. Despite efforts, no one was able to save Peyton. Peyton's aunt and a family friend sat down with Krem2 to talk about the teen, wanting to spread the love and light that Peyton gave all of them always smiling, like always smiling and just <laughs> lit up the room. You just couldn't help but love the child because it just had the purest soul. Her family says the smoke detectors were working, but say Peyton was wearing headsets and likely never heard an alarm. Peyton had sensory issues, so the headsets and music provided peace and comfort. But now her family fears they could have also contributed to her death and want other families to be aware. Peyton fell asleep every night with her headphones on, which a lot of a lot of kids these days do anyways. And since her, you know, any child like that, like a, headphones are a saving grace most time in a situation like this, like she she possibly didn't hear the smoke detectors. Peyton's family describes her as a sweet and shy girl most of her life until she hit high school. They say she joined the band, found music, a supportive teacher and discovered her voice. Going into her freshman year, she was this blooming. The family says they want her voice to continue to resonate by giving back in honor of the teen. She loved life. The family talked a lot about Payton's love of animals, especially her dog, Scout. The chocolate lab also died in the fire. She was in the house to try to save Peyton, and she we got her to an emergency vet in Coeur d'Alene, but there. She had she would have to have complete body skin grafts, multiple surgeries. The family says donations to the Humane Society in honor of Peyton and Scout would be welcome. The family also says that since Peyton loved playing in the band, donations to St. Mary's High School Band Program would be appreciated. Her light is still going to be giving. And I think that's the most important thing is how how can we and it's very important to my sister that we how do we shine? How do we keep shining this light? The family is adamant that Peyton's story be motivation for positive and that whatever lessons can be learned from the fire come later. That now they say is a time to be thankful for the 14 years that Peyton was here and thankful that there is a community that loved her and now grieves with the family. Reporting in St. Mary's, Laura Papetti, Krem2 News. We also want you to know the family is wanting to start a scholarship program in her honor and we'll have more information as that just as soon as we learn it.